I posted this on Twitter or X, but more or less what I did was that I created this modified Schrodinger equation. And the Schrodinger equation, of course, is a very famous equation in quantum physics. Uh, Schrodinger equation has a form that looks something like this, right? And I basically just disguised it, right? I just basically rewrote it with every symbol getting a different letter. And I wanted to just see if it could actually solve it. So what ended up happening was that indeed the chat GPT was able to recognize the fact that I had tried to fool it here. It took 12 seconds to take a look at this and just understand that what I was trying to do was that I was trying to give it a you know, modified Schrodinger equation. Let's take a look here. So this is the answer here that it typed out in in LaTeX. And so, right, basically just recognizes the fact that this is a, the solutions are quantized based on the width of the well, just rewrites everything completely correctly in terms of what the, what the form of the equation should be, right? So when you have the particle in a box model, the form of the answer looks something like this, the root root two over the width of the well, the well divided by the, the well with A, right? And so it just completely gets that here correctly. And then I wanted to, to see if I could even go further. So, you know, I was like, okay, well, it's one thing to rewrite the Schrodinger equation by changing the letters, right? It's one thing to do that. But what if we just used like, <laughs> what if we used like emojis, like hand-drawn emojis? I don't know how my brain comes up with this stuff, but I was thinking like, why don't we just make this, make it like this? I mean, if you know what you're looking for, I feel like you, you can tease it out, but come on, how many people can just like instantly recognize what's going on here? Maybe this is the giveaway here that this is sort of the, the boundary condition of the well, but it was, uh, <laughs> This is like the extent of my artistic ability. Even with this, right, it's able it's able to recognize here. I mean, yeah, so I was using O1 Pro for this and <laughs> uh, it was able to figure out. I mean, it took five minutes this time. It didn't take 12 seconds. It did take five minutes. But it says here, a succinct way to see the solution is that this is the standard infinite square well particle and box model on the interval. And so it's hard to read all that. So let's just go ahead and uh, copy this real quick. And uh, what it says here, again, it's a succinct way to see is that the solution is that this is the interval of the, is the standard infinite square well, particle in a box model, and the interval of this, potential is this. So it doesn't rewrite everything with the emojis, but it, it knows what the answer should be. And this is uh, completely correct here in terms of the form of the equation. It can't, I guess, it couldn't use emojis to, to do that. But I just find that so amusing. The fact that it was able to look this just think about the you know what goes in here it has to it has to you know use some vision model to look at what i'm writing here and transcribe this into something it can work with perhaps this is a dead giveaway the the boundary conditions but nevertheless it's just so amusing to me that it's able to come up with the the correct solution here i find it just so incredibly interesting i mean i remember just like 10 years ago thinking to myself man it would be so cool to have a have a way to like take a picture of a problem right like this and then just feed it to some computer and it can give you some assistance on how to solve problems like these and now we're here pretty interesting time that we live in